Hi, good evening. <laughs> good evening, everyone. It's Rob. It's 20 past 10 in the evening on the 22nd of October 2020. And I'm giving an update on my 100 trades uh, journal. Today, I didn't really do much. So I haven't really got a lot to update you on. So let's have a quick look. Just a quick recap, day one I captured 134 pips from nine trades. Day two uh, I captured 160 pips from 12 trades. Day three, uh oh, that was it, just three trades today. Um, and I was sticking with the pound Australian dollar as I have done so far. You can see all of these pairs, <coughs> currency pair, uh, pound Australian dollar, and I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the pound Australian dollar, just trade the movements on on that. But actually, today was not great. Um, I wasn't feeling it, uh, and I shouldn't necessarily have really traded today. And I I think I just placed these three trades just because I felt I ought to put something in for today. Uh, and actually. I had my first loss. This one here. It's not a huge loss. Two pips. So in theory, I could sort of class that as break even, but um, I was gutted because I was on a hundred percent win rate. And that one loss at the moment. So that was trade twenty-two. Uh, I, no, I, I I lost two pips, but on trade twenty-three I got five pips, and on trade twenty-four I got eleven pips. And I wasn't actually really comfortable in placing those trades anyway. I kind of felt I had to do it out of pressure. Um, and it wasn't really wasn't really pressure. It was just I thought, oh, I'm, I've, I've been doing really well. I've you know, had a 100% win rate so far over the last two days of doing this. Uh, and then... Uh, well, right, okay, so look, half past 12 today, I, I put a note on here saying... At the time of writing, I'm yet to place a trade. I've been watching the pound Australian dollar as I've had so much success with it so far and I didn't get up early enough to catch a decent move down. So I've been looking for another opportunity. There was uh, pound news in the morning, uh, which didn't actually have a huge impact on price, uh, but I just didn't feel confident or comfortable in entering into any trade setups as yet. I'm still on the lookout for a good opportunity to jump in, so hopefully I'll get trade number 22 underway soon. And as you can see, it wasn't until 20 to 5 in the afternoon that I thought, right, I'm going to dive in. And ridiculous because all of these trades so far, I think, had been sells. I think I've been selling, selling, selling the pound Australian dollar. Uh, and I decided that there was a time, you know, I looked at, looked at the stochastic uh, on the charts on the 5 minute, 15 minute and the hour uh, and because it was all down low and down in the, in the extreme I was expecting a push up and unfortunately on that particular trade I didn't get my entry quite right and it just ended up uh, closing that at a small loss um, two pips but that loss has affected my win rate I'm now at 96% which if I had just left it and not traded today, I'd have stayed at 100 percent and you know, that's was that, 23 out of 24 trades I've I've won. Um what well, say I've won, some of them have only been small um pips. Uh let's have a have a look. So we've got 12, 14, 22, 14, oh, two on that one, 10, 15, 5, 9. 15, 19, 24, 27, 16, 12, 5. So some of them have only been like a handful of, of pips. Um, so, you know, woohoo, isn't that great? But actually, when you when you add it all up, you say 130, 134, was it? Yeah, 134 for, for day one, 160 for day two, and day three, I haven't even added it up. Uh, what was that? 16, that's two, 14. So, um, 14 pips 
That's all I've captured today. 14 positive pips. Uh, so that's given me a total pip count since the 19th of October because I didn't actually start it on the 19th even though I had planned to because I wasn't feeling great on Monday. Um, that's given me 308 pips so far. So averaging just over 100 pips um, a day. But today wasn't feeling it. Actually, let me just show you. Um, so when I started looking at this, uh, it was around this sort of time. I thought, oh, I've missed, missed that move down because, of course, that was quarter past five in the morning and I certainly wasn't up then. Um, and as you can see, looking at the stochastic has been down low for most of the day on the, uh, yeah, I'm on the 15 minute time frame at the moment. Um, and I think I've been you know, checking the five minute and thought, oh, it's going to push up, but actually it wasn't really a, you know, a big push up. Um, but, you know, I, I, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. Just, I didn't have the, the oomph that I had over the last couple of days. Uh, so I suppose I should really, in hindsight, have left it because I just wasn't, I wasn't there today. But you know, looking at everything here, as I've been selling and selling and selling, um, I, I should have just gone for, for sales again. But I think my concern was that we kept having these movements of, oh, you know, stochastics pushing up a bit. Uh, but actually, all that happened was it, it just came down, really, down, down, down. Um, so I've got this area marked off here because um, I've got just one big candle there obviously needs to, to balance out at some point um, and that looked like it might have been starting to, to make that move um, but on the hour time frame as well stochastic is right down in the extreme right down there so I'm expecting there to be a sort of a push up maybe to attack one of these levels again and then and then come down uh, so that yeah, I, I'm, I suppose I'm disappointed, but I'm now at trade 24 of 100. So I knew I wasn't going to wrap up 100 trades in in the week. So this is going to continue into next week. Uh, but whilst I'm on, let's see how everyone else has been doing. Uh, where are we? Where are we at? Uh, 20 second, there we go. So um, Euro USD 16 pips overnight. Uh, pound Australian dollar 5 pips pound Australian dollar 10 pips and euro Australian dollar 5 pips that's on the crossfire this morning that um, operates between 6 and 8 in the morning that strategy uh, 6 and 8 in the morning UK time there's also a um, North American crossfire session which is their morning but obviously about lunch time for, for us I think it's 1 to 3 UK time Uh, eventually, so as we see there, eventually EA, so Euro Australian dollar, got five pips on crossfire, got there in the end, five pips, um, so that was obviously uh, a long drawn out one. Uh, Davina got uh, five pips on Euro Australian dollar. Uh, pound, humus pound, Japanese yen is 20 pips, uh, and then 30 pips for pound Australian dollar, so well done Daniel. 12 pips on pound Canadian dollar from Paul's session. That was a live session that took place this morning. I'm doing a live session tomorrow morning. Um, and I was on that session. And uh, it was, again, another great session. Uh, but for some reason, I just had it in my head that I was going to stick with the pound Australian dollar. And yes, it moved nicely. But I just never, never um, got in for the sales. Uh, pound Canadian dollar, 20 pips, followed by 9 pips, so that's almost 30 pips on, on that one for Cola. Uh, pound Canadian dollar, 32 pips. Um, oh, a loss of 5 pips on Euro Japanese Yen. <laughs> Cola's funny, putting his uh, silly little gifts in there, as you, as you see that one there. Uh, Paul got uh, nearly 15 pips on pound Canadian dollar. 
Darren got 30 pips on pound Canadian dollar and 25 pips on euro USD uh, so far. Sarah Jane got 10 pips on pound Canadian dollar. I do apologise, that's very rude of me, I'm so sorry. Uh, 10 pips on pound Canadian dollar whilst on a walk with the kids. Um, so she was attending the, the live session to that. And then she got another 42 pips using our ninja trading system and from jumping onto Paul's live trading session in the morning. There we go. So the live session would work as well. Um, Darren, another very tricky crossfire North America session for me, plus five, plus six, and then minus 11. So just for those of you who are in doubt, obviously we are posting our losses as well as our, um, as our wins and break evens as well. As I said at the top there, post your trading results here in pips, win, lose, or break even. Uh, so whilst Cola had a loss somewhere back here, there we go, lost minus five on Euro Japanese Yen. Um, he grabbed another 36 pips on pound New Zealand dollar. Uh, so that was, well that was this evening, but look at that, 20 to eight. Uh, Paul, so I missed Paul out there. <coughs> Excuse me. Good today today using the scans plus pitchforks. Minimum of five to one risk to reward ratios. Nine trades executed. Five wins, four losses. Five wins, four losses. Due to the type of stop losses, still grew my account. Oh, um, I'll hide that quickly. Um, okay. So basically, nine trades, five wins, four losses, but still grew his account nicely. Uh, Alan didn't get a chance to post these earlier. The one I didn't get a screenshot, but I actually closed the plus 42 at 70 pips plus, and before that was a little scalp of 12 pips all on pound Canadian dollar. So that's at least 80 odd pips. And Alan did really well yesterday, day before, got over 200, over 250, I think 270 something pips from memory. Um, and Alan is new to our team i say new he's been in seven eight weeks possibly now uh paul uh oh that's a another great um example there uh did a test using a demo account just using the harmonic patterns and pitchforks as we as we teach in our live sessions just keeping it simple and targeting the um, central median line on the pitchfork. Left the trades open for 24 hours. A number of the trades were closed out early, mainly those with a tight stop loss of 14 trades. Seven were winners and seven, I'm so sorry. <coughs> I'm so sorry about that. Seven winners and seven losers. However, grew the demo account um, over 200 pips. Well, I've got my cursor in my, over 200 pips. So, 14 trades, only one half of them, but still had a positive over 200 pip impact. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, pound Canadian dollar, 30 pips. Pound US dollar, 14 pips. Euro, Euro US dollar, 15 pips. Daily target reached very nicely. So that was 30, 40, 59 pips. There we go. See, maths doesn't have to be a, at the forefront of your mind all the time. Uh, one of the um, HFX sessions, nine wins and two losses. Uh, so that's binary um, stuff. So you either win or lose. There's not necessarily a number of, of pips that um, that you capture on, on those sessions. A few pips crossing um, Ninja Trading System and Firestarter. Uh, so there's 21. Oh, it's the same same picture twice. So 21 pips in total across three positions, it looks like there. So you know, even though I didn't really do much today, uh, the rest of the gang, the community, our trading community did. So that was good. Um, so yeah, back to pound Australian dollar. I'm, I'm still expecting price to, to continue down. Um, I'm looking for this area to be to be filled, um, as I as I said earlier, but I'm also looking at a slightly longer. I mean, if you look at the, uh, is, it, is it on the hour? I think, or maybe even on the daily. Oh, you're not going to be able to see from there on the daily. No, in fact, forget that. 
it's not going to be clear with because it's it's fine we're looking at the 15 minutes because of, of my lines here the, these lines are obviously just levels of support and resistance um, and that was uh, where I made most of my pips yesterday, just in that 35 pip channel there, between there and there. And then the price pushed up, and there's another level here, as you see price bouncing up and down in there. And I, th I think these levels are all about 35 pips apart, so there's that one there, that one there, that one there, and in fact that line down to that one is also 35 pips, that box is 35 pips deep. So. You know, you can see that all oh, price is moving in 35 pip levels. And actually, this line here uh, goes back, uh, goes way back. If I look at it, uh, yeah, so back here. Um, in fact, that doesn't quite extend far enough, but you can see there that price has come down to that level as well. It's pushed up, hit that level, hasn't quite made it there. And then we had this was my discussion last Friday uh, so it's Friday tomorrow um, this will be yeah next yeah so it was a week ago last Friday we highlighted this this level here because price had hit that level hit it again there it pushed up but then hit it there and then bounced from that and I think it dropped around 130 pips uh, but as you can see I've got a parallel channel up that way and I've just marked out levels that I think are um, of interest I suppose but yeah jumping back down to the 15 minute that's what I'm I'm looking at I should, I should do these sessions earlier in the in the evening rather than yawn my way through them so I do apologize um, and it's also I guess because I've just finished a session I do a live session in the evening half past seven to it's supposed to be half past seven to half past eight um, but we actually went on for an hour extra um, just talking about a number of different things, uh, you know, the, the emotional part of trading, the psychology, the structure, so many different things, um, you know, stacking trades, trend lines, loads and loads of different elements of, of trading, but it turned into quite an open discussion. It was really, really quite enjoyable. I think a lot of people enjoyed it. So, so there we go. There's the 100 Trades Journal still going. Um, but sadly today was not as positive as the last couple of days but that was more down to me than the actual trades them, themselves I just as I said earlier just wasn't feeling it um, so there we go I hope that was fun and of, of benefit well not necessarily fun because I was yawning all the way through it so I apologize for that so there we go 96% win rate still 23 trades out of 24 winning and the one that didn't win was only a loss of two pips, so not a huge bank breaker. Right, <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna leave you to it, I'm gonna head to bed, and uh, got, got my live session at half eight in the morning, so I'll go and do that. Catch you all later, ta-ta for now. <laughs>